more sick again. I can't take this, people. I am feeling so understandably overwhelmed, okay? I can't leave the house for any length of time because I have to put those drops in her eyes four times a day. On top of that, some of you should already know, I'm a highly, I'm an HSP, I'm an, I, I'm an empath. I mean, I, I, I can tell that she feels bad. I know that she's sad that she can't put the drops in the eyes. See, she's totally dependent upon me, but there's no guarantees in this life. You know, I can get hit by a car. I can finally succumb and, and to, you know, I've, under, I've been through so much trauma and heartbreak over these past several years, okay? And I've held it together. I haven't broken down. Um, he used to be so healthy. And it's the same kind of diarrhea every time, okay? It, it, I, whatever it's called, it's the kind that's little watery, you know, short bursts, and sometimes the dog looks like he's straining to go. I don't want him to have to be on antibiotics for the rest of his life. I 100% believe, and I said it when it happened, that Angel being on that Apricot, you know, she'd been on that Apricot for years, and then it suddenly stops working, and the solution is to increase the dosage. I 100% believe that's what killed her. 100%. And I will say it to my vet. I don't care. I don't care if I like her. I will say it. That, you know, I don't want my dog, my baby, on antibiotics for the rest of his life. I don't know why he's sick. Why, if it was every few months, it'd be one thing, but it's happening too often. It never used to happen at all. That's what's scary. Omar used to be so healthy, and now he keeps getting me stop it. Stop it, Omar. And it could be, you know, they're affected by things, you know, just like we are. It could be plain old stress from being blind. It could be he senses the stress my mom and I are under, you know. I don't know. All I know and it's going on to first happened yesterday, I'm like, oh God, not again. Remember last time, but they didn't have me bring him in, they just said we're going to put him on that same metro, whatever that is. It's an anti-inflammatory and antibiotic, but, you know, we don't want him to have to be on medication like that for the rest of his life. The Lord only knows where an holistic, you know, I'd like to take him to an holistic vet. Can I even get there by public transportation, you know what I mean? That's always what's going on, too. He gets sick and he's not, like, doesn't act different. You know what I mean? He still eats, he still drinks, he still you know, runs or eats. It doesn't act any different. It wasn't as bad this time as in 
it wasn't so quick, you know what I mean? There's a lot of time in between. But I don't have any chick. So I've been given them peppers and pe pumpkin. But that's just his normal that I give him everyday peppers and pumpkin, you know. People said I'm lying about pumpkin and vines. Because they always also, they're ominous and they're like, you gotta be careful with little dogs. They can get dehydrated very quickly and die, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, her right, you know, their sister out of the picture, my mom will do anything to save this story. came up fine. And then, you know, we got his teeth done, and he got that pre-test again, just to be on the safe side, you know. Everything, that's blood work, everything came up fine. I watch him like a hawk. He doesn't have a chance ever to eat anything, but he constantly licks these couches and blankets and, you know, and they're not the cleanest. I'll be the first to admit that they're not. Maybe that's what's getting him sick. I can't stop him from doing that. I can stop him and keep him safe, you know to a point, but I can't, I can't, you know. I change his water all the time. You know, because they warn you that the bulls can get, you know, harbor bacteria and stuff. We stopped the bad habit, but that was just to protect him. I remember Marley from Marley and me, you know, his stomach turned over because the dog ate too fast. Omar eats way too fast, so we stopped throwing the dog food all over the floor. So that's probably not the best thing to do because then he's licking the floor. We stopped doing that weeks and weeks and weeks ago. We, when he started going to his hard food again, feed him one piece at a time. Mom likes doing it anyway. It bond, they can bond, you know, with feeding them one piece of dog food at a time. And that makes sure he eats slow, you know. And it also keeps it nice and clean, nice, not, not having him eat off the floor, you know. He's on the probiotics. Remember, I got those probiotics again. And he get the tube that goes down his throat you know, that goes in his mouth, that's the instant stuff, but I got the powder stuff that I can just open up and put on his food every day, and I've been doing that, and they've lasted a long time.
Robert's never throw up. He's never like, you know. You guys who know the law, or maybe you just are really smart on things like this, and maybe you could just shed some light. A gr groomer, and just as an aside, I'm just going to say, you know, there's lots of jobs that people could do, but, but he put, we'll just come back to that, okay, because this is, this is really this is upsetting me and I just don't understand because there's no denying what he did he was caught on camera okay and it turned out he was just an independent contractor working for the the grooming place right anyway he was caught on camera slamming the head down it was on inside edition and of course I went and googled it because I wanted to find out why the charges were just, I, that's what I don't get, I don't, I guess that's just, you know, a lot of people don't understand why the charges were dismissed against Jesse Smollett, okay, but this person was caught on camera, the groomers, slamming down the head of a little shizitsu, okay, and the poor little dog wound up having to be, the, the owner had to call 911 and the dog wound up having, the vets said the blood vessels had burst in his eyes, okay, from being slammed down, but also, I was already horrified because the charges were dismissed. The guy agreed to an interview, like, why? Why did prosecutors dismiss these charges when the guy was caught He's on video. There's no denying that's what he did. And of course, people are saying he should be in jail. He should be this, that, whatever. All right, even if he's not going to go to jail, I, I don't understand why the charges were dismissed against him. And of course, you're not going to have any answer. You get it? That's what upsets me. You're not going to get an answer. I bet you guys won't be able to give me an answer either. I Googled it. Why were the charges dismissed? They just say they were. Of course, the owner's furious. She's like, and then what makes her even angrier is that the charges were dismissed. He agreed to an intervention, whatever that means. But the charges were dismissed at the very least if he wasn't going to go to jail. You know, because animal love of states don't even give a fuck apparently, but animal cruelty is proof and he, you know. But I go online and find out that cops also said they have him on surveillance holding that same little dog up by his leash. That could have killed the dog, okay? So it could slam in his head, and you find out that it's because the dog urinated on him, okay? Clearly, he should not be with the animals. But was he banned? No. He doesn't get punished at all. And, and he went, moved a thousand miles away to Texas, this happened in Florida, and opened up a new grooming place of his own. He opened a grooming place of his own. So he was working as an independent contractor. Now suddenly he has the money to open up his own grooming. I mean, well, there are people writing, they don't even have to live around there. They're like, like he needs to be closed down. They're like, don't take your dog here. He abused a dog in Florida. Like he should be in jail, not working with animals. There's plenty of jobs this guy could do, okay? He got away with not being punished. He should not be able, be allowed to ever work with animals again. And yet here he is, opened up Bubbles and Biscuits in Texas, okay? His name is, what's his name? Something Alan Mitchell, John Alan Mitchell, whatever, but you know what I mean? It's bad enough 
that he didn't serve any jail time. He wasn't punished at all, no fines, no jail time, nothing. And that tells me something, you know, suspicious is going on. Same with the Jesse Smollett thing. Like, did this guy have inside people that, that that's how the charges got dropped? And the woman certainly didn't drop the charges against him. The prosecutor decided to drop the charge. Like, why can't she, why couldn't this woman sue him? Like, why couldn't she? I don't understand it. You've got to explain it to me, but you probably won't be able to. I just added to the mystery of this life. I'm sure things like this go on all the time. Could happen all the time. He was caught on camera. This isn't a case where there were no, there wasn't any surveillance and the woman just suspects. He was caught. I got to see him slam that dog. So did so many other people. He shouldn't be allowed to open bubbles and biscuits or any, any grooming place ever. He can find another job. You know what I mean? But the woman said, she's like, all I said was the prosecutor said, I just don't want him to be working with animals. And lo and behold, he's, he's working with animals. But it's an addition featured in, maybe he'll get shut, maybe he'll just go out of business. But this woman wrote, she was like, if I lived around there, I'd be picketing. Yeah, me too. If I lived around there and I watched this on Inside Edition, I knew about it and, you know, Picketing's legal. Go in front of the place and say, don't bring your dog here. Watch inside the dish. You can go online and see. But I don't understand why prosecutors drop the charges against him. But I suspect things like that happen all the time. I don't understand it. He's on surveillance, and then you find out, you go online and find out he also strangled the dog briefly. Yet he doesn't get punished at all. I mean, you tell me why. I'm begging you to tell me why this guy did not get punished at all, because I'm not the only one asking. Tell me why. Tell me why the prosecutors dropped the charges against him if he agreed to an intervention, whatever that means that's not being punished and you get to go move a thousand miles away and there's no other job you could do except open up a grooming place and work with animals, right? I mean, cool. Sick. So I'm spreading the message because you have to be careful. Omar doesn't get groomed. He's never gotten groomed. He just gets his nails cut. But I know there are tons of dogs that get groomed, you know. And, and you have to be careful. It's, there's no license required to, open, to be a dog groomer. And there are people, you know, this other guy broke this, this guy's guy, German Shepherd. He, this guy, I don't think the charges are dropped against him. But penalties for animal cruelty is not very high, I guess. Probably in different states or whatnot, I don't know. The poor German Shepherd had to have his tail amputated. This guy was caught on video yanking the dog's tail so badly that he wanted the dog wound up having to have the tail amputated. Did that guy serve any jail time? I don't know. It doesn't say. between just a viewer and a fan. One of my fans um, and he's not a fan who expresses any kind of interest in my looks or body. He's a different kind of fan. But anyway, one of my fans sent me a link um, Horrible. I told my mom about it. She's like, I don't want to watch that. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to play with it. I've watched it. I'm sitting here talking. I don't even know if this is running. Okay, it's running. It's going to stop pretty soon. Anyway.
away. He sent me a link. I'm up in the middle of the night because I'm alone. And it just reminded me of things that weren't up to my mom. Oh. This woman apparently, this African American black woman, whatever. And color doesn't matter. I can tell you her color, but it, you know, people of all races do horrible things. So let's just leave it at that because it's the truth, okay? Um. She apparently was acting up on the bus, causing trouble, yelling, I don't know, whatever she was doing. This elderly man told her to be quiet. He told her to, to come, whatever had happened. And then he's getting off the bus with his walker and she shoved him. He shoved him. She's an animal, okay? Bottom line, she's an animal. That's not a human being. She shoved him and he went flying off the bus smashed his head and he, he fought for his life but in the end he's dead sick but things like that happen you know there were random things that happen I was telling my mom that story I'm like she mom doesn't remember but mom do you remember you were I know that you I went and talked to you about it that at a train you know Someone intentionally pushed this 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 woman onto the tracks and then her daughter jumped on top and she was just instinctive. They both could have died, but she jumped down to save her mom, but the train was coming, it was too late. She just was on top of her mom. In the end, it's the daughter that suffered more injuries. They both survived, the train going over them. I guess they missed the third rail or whatever, but bottom line is, we take stuff like that, not that often, but we do, I do, she does, we do it together. And I warned my mom, I don't know how anybody, I see him doing it all the time, that train is pulling up, I don't know anyone can stand, you know they have a yellow line there, but it's like, you're this, you're like this close to the train, I don't know anyone can stand right there as that train's pulling up. But people don't care, they don't think the way that I do, you know. And they just think I want to get a seat on the train. I'd rather not get a seat on the train and stand way back. Way back. I don't like it anyway. I've told you before. I can have thoughts that, you know, never mind being pushed. I can have thought I'm not going to do it. But I can have thoughts of jumping, you know. I just don't like it. I just don't like the whole situation. I'm glad I only have to take them once in a while. Once in a blue moon. Because a long time ago, I was taking them all the time to work. Anyway, so my fan was like, this will shock you. This, things all the time, worse than that, you know. This was a stranger. She's going to, I'm sure, unless she's determined to be out of her mind. But things happen like that all the time here in Massachusetts that extremely known to be mentally ill guy decided to stab to death somebody in the library. He should go to a mental, but you know, people had warning signs and but he's not going to go to jail, you know. But he stabbed this woman to death and someone tried to intervene and, and the, the guy, the guy that tried to intervene, the older guy, he got stabbed, but he's okay, but she died. She tried to run away like an horror movie and he kept coming after her. That was random, you know. gonna shock me that this woman pushed this this guy down from the you know more shocking things than that happen all the time with you know horrible
couple things. I look at H, look a little AJ, and, and being forced to take a cold shower for 20 minutes because he peed his self and then put to bed like that after being beaten or whatever and he winds up dead and then his parents try to cover it up and you know it's way worse way worse Too many shocking things. This world is something else. Every direction just closing in. Every arena on weather and political and you know it's like. judge it on if it's constant, you know what I mean? When hours can go in between us, it's not as bad. 